Hello and welcome back to another episode of War Tales. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our journey in the country of Arthas. I ventured uh, and decided to not take the Arthas uh, tomb. I just ventured around and uh, grinded some more um, of our ores in order to yeah, get up blacksmithing and prepare for the next few levels. And I frankly also wanted to explore the landscape a little bit more. We're getting to the tome. We just needed enough um, torches. I didn't want to do it in a two-parter as well. So anyways, as I was exploring, I found something very interesting. That here is a secret tunnel into a new into a new island and on that secret tunnel is the uh, Arthas Harbor and on that Arthas Harbor again is the arena part two so that I think is definitely worth our time so I got a little treat for you today you know this arena. But since you came all this way, it wouldn't be fair to turn you away. Sign up if you want to fight. Oh yeah, we want to fight. So, whom do we select? Keep in mind, it's only four participants and that's pretty much about it. I think in terms of just working with what we do have, might want to take Grell because she automatically gets protection and takes less damage. So, so she's our tank. I already have concluded that Captain Andrew Sanders and Dilly G will be on the team. The question is who's going to be the last one? Are we going in with dual um, archers? Or are we taking a second front line? I think we're we're in for a second front line. I like that idea. Let's register this team and get going. I'm pretty sure it's four and four again, right? So we're looking at level four enemies. Filialia must be engaged in combat at the end of the turn. Well, that's easy enough. This time we're starting a bit on the strange side. So let's... JP Pauly over here is fine. Um, how about we're actually starting with Dilly G. Massive crit into a kill makes that an easy first engagement. We'll get another round. And I think it is time to engage her. Good. Taking a couple of hits back and forth. Good, this guy here should be dead. Moving up. Starting to let her bleed. 
I think we have no further no further uh, skill so we're just going with best friend bonus Okay, this is going to be a slaughter fest. Our new setup definitely works better than before. So, every companion disengages, they perform an attack of opportunity. Dexterity of companions increased by 5%. I think we're just taking the flat out bonus. Restore. Well, that was a simple first battle, but I mean, we've upgraded weapons this time. Oh boy, look at that with increased dexterity. It's just getting worse instead of better. We're starting with that. Nice hit. Wow. The damage is unrivaled. Holy. And those extra knives really start to add up. By the way, fighting against five people, or why is there another legionnaire in here? Good, moving to here. First at oh, 80 bloodshed, holy. Wow. Every time a companion is supported, they gain reposts, uh, fulfilling requirements. This one is good, potentially for the final battle. Wow, this arena is quite one-sided, but they're only level four and not as strong as the last time. Okay, so um, let's move up. Kill their damage dealers first. This guy is bleeding.
Good enough. All right, we're engaging. Potentially going to lose a bit of our health. Done. 133. Uh, uh, that is crazy amounts of damage. Ender Senders must move. Well, I tell you what, he happily obliges. Every time a companion lands a critical hit, they apply bleeding. All enemies start uh, the battle with vulnerability. Yeah, that's easy, an easy choice. Good, time to fight him. <clears throat> Tactical slam. Increased by 15% for every bonus. Damage taken reduced, stackable at 10 stacks, which is to Berserker stance. Berserk damage and damage taken increase. Okay. It's currently in defensive stance. I see. <clears throat> well, I would say we're tanking and spanking him. So, a bit of weakening. He's now taking 30% less damage, and it's his turn. Forty percent less damage. I think we're going in with some DPS now, best friend bonus over here. <coughs> 50% less damage. Sixty percent less damage. Seventy percent less damage. Eighty percent less damage, ninety percent less damage. It was still eighty percent, okay. Ninety percent less damage. If we're sprinting to here, does that trigger his defense stance? No. The little darts do not trigger. Now he's back to Berserk stance. Which means he's taking more damage. First strike. 420. I like that. And he was ending with 120 blood if stacks. If I knew you were that good, I would have bet on you, mercenaries. Too bad. Take your reward. If you want to. Rampart. Ooh, ooh. What is that beauty? Tactical slam. Uh, DLSA two. Uh, 11 points of damage. Damage increased by 15% for each bonus debuff applied to the target unit. That is not bad.
and it's upgradable which we're of course going to do so that's a really great uh, defensive item for us don't be so coy now that you beat our champion you're part of the family thanks for that I uh, don't think we need another skill mastery at this point. We got poison flask. That is a good one. Um, chest plate. Belt accessory. Whereas 25% chance to avoid injury. Not really great. And corrosion gets rid of armor, which isn't bad either. Couple of neat little items. Nothing that I would say is completely un completely changing the game. Uh, I'll move <clears throat> to get our new specialization because someone promised us a reward for the arena. So let's do that next. And then we're continuing with the rest of the episode. All right, after the disappointing uh, performance of the arena, I figured we'll explore that section and hopefully uh, drive the storyline forward. Let's see what else uh, we can do in the meantime. What am I to do? The heart soldiers will be here soon and I can't pay the levy. We can't afford to pay. The heart will burn our houses to the ground. Well, 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 I don't have a great answer for that either. Let's get some wood cr really quick and then we're exploring the rest. Choosing those with a profession that have already mastered their trade, like Miss Grell. Because we can easily choose back. There we go. Easy peasy. Okay, I would like to help them. How would I do that? People's father. Find Abbot Theoden and uh, apprise him of the situation. Well, okay, so somehow their father needs to be nearby. By the way, I found out something that I want to share with you. Uh, I have had additional knowledge points and I figured, you know what, might as well put them into Tinkery. And I realized you can upgrade every single building in your camp. Holy moly, was I missing out. So that's what we're currently doing. Um, I've already upgraded the workbench. All right, what's happening here? Lord Veroness is the one that we are supporting. Before we're initiating anything, though. Let's first check what is happening back here. We can always come back to these guys. So if you're upgrading uh, stuff, it actually helps you out a lot. I can, for instance, <clears throat> dis uh, disassemble uh, items that are no longer needed, <clears throat> which in return is super helpful. It gives me resources. Troops are unhappy about not the right food. Uh, 
Okay, well, can we distract them? Yeah, we're not going to give up eight bread just to distract the boars. Matter of fact, we had too little, um, too little meat. So that might be just what we, uh, what the doctor has ordered, a couple of boars. Trying to improve Miss Grell's relationship still with Zoe. And somehow that's not really working out that well. Okay, so if you go here and heal her, even though she doesn't need healing, does that maybe help with the relationship? I don't know. But I do know that even Miss Grell at this point is quite a killing machine. Plus whenever she engages in combat we're getting one extra Valor. Alright, Zoe returns to favor, moves there, heals her. Hits two, kills that boar. Which they actually should like each other if they're fighting alongside one another. It's the only relationship that has gone sour. And I don't know why. Crazy, if they are all engaging, we're always uh, getting Valor. Good enough. Yeah, the cool part about uh, these pigs is we can immediately create grill pigs out of them. Good, time for the uh, the court here. So this is apparently a storyline mission. Yeah, we could adopt another horse just to increase uh, the carry capacity, but I don't feel that that is necessary. The has asked the general to let the war decide the lad's fate, but the conflict is dragging on. Because of this so-called chosen one, the situation has become extremely volatile. Yeah. And Lahart is a drunkard and will never be able to defeat him. If the situation deteriorates any further, we will have to step in. Apart from the Legion Steve, all Artesian horses have been requisitioned for Lords Lahart and Vernalis. These animals could make invaluable companions, but to be honest, they are too old to be of any use on the battlefield. What have you done? Oh, well, never mind. At least the problem is solved. But... I'm serving under Colonel Reveris's orders for the first time. It's an honor. Everyone in the Legion knows his name. Well, that's good for you guys. I appreciate the positive spirit here. What I do not appreciate as much is that we haven't gotten any help. So the fate of Arthur's 50% is done. I think this here is actually kind of one of those telling battles that we need to do. Before we go in head first let's enable some extra xp because we're still leveling incredibly slow 
And we're on Lord Verona's uh, side. Wow, massive battle here. At least none of the enemies is crucial. Miss Grell and Zoe are starting from here. Namri is starting from here. I think we're okay. Nice little crit. Good. These enemies are a bit more serious, so we should not take them lightly. Good. Enders. Ah, we're not uh, doing that yet. I would like to prepare these guys here with a spear throw, but 8 meters is not as much as you would think. I actually expected them to be Uh, much closer together. Hmm. Okay. Well, we're getting there. Anders moves up. Guess us uh, new Valor. Guy just doesn't want to die. Anders continues. Unfortunately, we did not uh, have enough to get him down to wrath level. Yeah, he wasn't he wasn't bleeding. I think that made the difference. And these other two are actually quite sturdy. I tend to underestimate just how sturdy these uh, enemies are. That's a hit, and another one, and let's debuff him for more damage. On the other side of the battlefield, the flank is wide open. All right, we're continuing our friendly interaction. Disengaging, which means Miss Grell is ready for another engage. And that will give us additional Valor. Fantastic. Oh. All 
right, Namri moves up. Destabilizes him from behind. Nice little extra hit. And that's it. Bit of a waste for a first attack. But it frees up Enders. Can't use that one, unfortunately. I could go slightly away, but I'd rather support, that's fine. Hit. Good one. Another one. And we're continuing to positively engage. Giving everyone orderly. Before starting to move in. And yeah, at the moment it's just frontline versus frontline. The enemies are so well protected. What we really need to do is uh, start to make them bleed. And then based on the bleed, start to actually uh, kill them. Nah, it's not worth it. I don't want to spend two Valor for that. The enemies seem to be incredibly sturdy. I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm missing something. <laughs> Moves up here. Heals the burning because I don't want that. Moves back. Hit. Destabilization. Yeah, we're not giving up our last failure for that. There we go, there's another Valor. Down to one hit point, can't believe it. Hmm. Oh, I do have an idea. That gives us fury. Good, and we're slowly moving over. Boy, they are heavily armored. On the other hand, 
It seems like their opponents are not taking damage either. Bear moves over. Roby is eager to get in melee combat with uh, some of them. New round has started. Now inspiration would be fantastic, wouldn't it? Just charging over. Instead of uh, each of uh, our soldiers going there individually. Um, yeah, let's hit all three, because why not? Continuing to move up, getting some Valor through position, uh, through po uh, positional abilities. And this is where more movement speed would actually come in incredibly handy. Can't even get there. Which is unfortunate. New round is starting. How about... JP Pauly moving in. Very solid hit. That galvanizing will pay a lot of dividends. Good, we're getting Valor back. He's still alive at two hit points. Wow. All right. 
Moving on. Their armor definitely shows. I mean, you've seen how we just mount level four, five enemies. But the seven ones are a bit tougher. Wow, finally. That was a long one. Um, let's loot a couple of corpses. The problem with corpses is... They always tend to get in... They always tend to get uh, quite heavy. But we got a new trait now, which is extremely bloodthirsty, but we can uh, use corpses, apparently, and put them on the tanning rack here. And we're making fine, fine leather out of them, which is crazy. But apparently that's uh, the medieval world that they are living in. Okay. Um... Wanted to show you how the dismantling works. I found that quite handy as well. We're essentially getting materials out of it. And very soon we would be upgrading our workshop. Good, you guys should be thanking us. Apparently not. I was under the impression that we have decisively swung uh, the war in one direction, but apparently that's wrong. Now we do no longer have uh, the uh, mm, the general accompanying us, which means we could now go and uh, visit the other uh, estates. So let's do that real quick. But before we do that, let's check out what these and I'll do peasants want. I want with it. If I want to pack it full of Damn it. They're my neighbors, my friends. You think they weren't here for me during the war? You if you really want to make my selfish wife happy, give me some food so they don't go mad. Or timber so we can reinforce the cellar door. Fine. Take this all right, it seems that I can't keep jumping in fear. there are a couple of plague-ridden down there, and we need the plague-ridden brains. We are so hungry. I distinctly remember we needed those for one recipe. Miss Grell and Zoe, let's start here. Grell moves up, hit, hit. Down to one hit point. Yeah, I think we're just finishing on this guy. Yeah, they only allow us to loot the corpses. Well, that is unfortunate. I am so relieved you killed these monsters. Thank you. You should be ashamed. Well, I'm not really ashamed to fight the plague ridden. We just need their brains. I 
unfortunately that didn't work out as I would have expected. Let's take a rest here. Oh, cool. We can now create a coal ourselves and uh, turn wood into coal and happiness. That's a cool concept. I like it. And apparently the tanning rack here just it continues to get going every single day one more uh, one more leather after rest the beta points earned are reduced by two no we're improving the relationship dilly g and jp paulie have improved is there even room for improvement Oh yeah, for, for him there is there are a couple of loved ones. I think Andrew Sanders was the one with the best relationships. Yeah, and Miss Grell was the one with the worst relationships. Actually, she does not like the bear and I couldn't care less that it's none of my uh, business, but she doesn't like Zoe. So both of them need to find a way to reconcile their differences. And I think letting them fight alongside each other is the easiest way of doing that. Good. Uh, enough rambling and moving through the landscape. We are on our way. To hopefully continue the storyline a little bit further. Good, this time we can enter. Have you come to pray for the soldiers' recovery and the victory of Lord Vernalis? You really should, you know. Lord Vernalis is a devout man. It is my holy duty as an abbot to help him. That is why I am tending to his injured soldiers. But I so wish I could do more. Perhaps... If I paid you to How would you feel about stopping that usurper Lahad from levying his taxes? This oh, absolutely. Burden on the farmers. Blessed be Saint Elio. The Hard's tax collectors never miss a chance to ransack Boethius. I will take you to Good. We are going to escort him. Uh, Lord, I would be very grateful if you could supply me with some flowers. I don't want to die. Okay, and we need snow flowers. Very well. Also, I wonder what the Abbey is keeping back here. Nice knowledge and a new recipe. Brace. Uh, the wearer has 20% uh, mm, chance to sleep an injury off. Well, that's not bad. We don't have backpack accessories so far, so that's an easy one to craft. And I already mentioned we wanted uh, further improvements so we could improve the 10 to maximum capacity or we're just uh, going to improve the cooking pot or the tanning rack actually 
because we're using that a lot lately. Don't tell the abbot I said this. Okay, so what do we have down here? This chest is sealed off by a puzzle piece, uh, by a puzzle, and one piece is missing. Well, if we stumble across a puzzle, or rather a piece of a puzzle, then we know exactly where to go. I like those little treasures, always hidden somewhere. Good, so that's our next destination. Whilst we're on the way, I wonder, can we upgrade something? Rope, uh, we, do, we can create seven rope. And let's upgrade the tanning rack. That's a solid 38 uh, experience. And finally, we are journeyman. That's good because he's only one step away from getting the big fat maximum critical hit chance. Now, what can the tanning rack now do? Produces um, infected blood from plague leather. Okay, I see. So here is where we can clear the uh, the plague leather. And you, whilst you're eating with us, might as well start helping here. Or we're rather doing that easier. By the way, strategy table, I um, want to show that as well. We got extra deployment slots uh, with the upgrade, which is fantastic. I want to definitely upgrade the strategy table even further. And since I found out that you can upgrade these items, tinker, uh, tinkering all of a sudden became much, much, much more useful than before. Well, it was always useful because of uh, the crit chance. But now it is even more useful. All right, last fight for today's episode. Let's see how we engage with the enemies. We have them nicely cornered or they have us cornered, depending on how you look at the situation. I would nonetheless start in the middle here because these guys will die pretty fast. Namri can start over here with JP Pauly. And let's get that guy down. Best friend bonus engaged. Memory begins to charge in, move up, 
destabilize him. Oh, holy. Yeah, we're going to take that. Damn it, she is strong. Even with her uh, with her one hand specialization. That's a nice little crit. Moving up here. Tiny bit further forward. That's a solid kill. Back and let's heal each other. Nice hit onto both of them. And a solid kill. Wow, even our spearman is now starting to be valuable and uh, can kill. Not that he wasn't valuable, but you know what I mean, more valuable than before. should end the fight okay wonderful easy enough how far by the way are we away from level seven? Oh my gosh this is taking ages mercenaries i have bad news there is no sign of the tax collector's carriage i think the men you slaughtered were only patrolling the area but let's not dwell on such a trivial mistake. These people, may the light forgive me for saying this, they deserve to die. Worry not for your salvation. I have another idea. The tax collectors always cross a small bridge not far from here. All right, so we can't let it uh leave on a complete cliffhanger here it's a bit of a longer episode <laughs> you're pretty fast let's see we're here because yes the ambush we go ahead and demolish those pillars Very cool. We're, this time we're getting wood out, uh, out of it. One of the seldom options where you can use a miner in order to progress. Mercenaries, go and stand in front of the bridge. They will be here any minute now. All right. Do we get anything else here other than destroying the bridge? Good, here we go. Bridge collapsed. Who are you? Where is it? 
Well, all good questions. Who are you? Why is the bridge collapsed? What are you doing here? I appreciate the questions, but the answer you you won't you shouldn't ask questions when you don't like the answer. Good, let's give everybody here orderly before we're moving in and starting to lay the hammer. much for your overwatch nice very nice okay Aim, shoot, keep these guys back, and move up to do some healy healy. Good. Um, can we move just a tiny bit further to here? It might be possible to get all four. Yes. Yep, solid 30 bloodshed on all of them, followed by A massive cleanup. Moves to here. putting some so uh, very solid work into uh, into throwing the spear now that they are all engaged how about how about actually moving here getting a full uh, set of um, of valor points then moving to here and hitting both of you okay well yep yeah, once we got rolling there was no stopping us. And I think this concludes today's episode. 
Uh, I would stop it here. We're continuing the next time. Not sure why we can't dismantle this here. Potentially because it's too uh, too good. But yeah, anyways, that concludes us for today. Next time, I think we can uh, finish most of the purple quests here. And then it's temple time. I want to keep that for the end as well. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the ambush, then how about you lay a, a slick ambush to the like button and see if you can backstab it. Thanks and have a good one.